So in inertial and non-inertial reference frame beta, first one is about your inertial, are also known as non-accelerating frame. Also known as what? Non-accelerating. Non inertial frame means if the body is at rest, are moving with uniform velocity, velocity is constant. You know that differentiation of velocity will give me what acceleration, gada? Yes, sir. The velocity is constant. Acceleration will be zero, gada. A is equal to dv by dd. Acceleration oh, yes, is what? A is equal yes. to dv by dd. D if e yes, is constant, sir. differentiation of any constant is almost how much? Zero, gada. Zero, sir. So if the body is moving with uniform motion, anna, or if the body is at rest, anna, it will be an inertial frame. So acceleration of that body will become zero, in which Newton's laws of motions are applicable. Okay? Yes, sir. Non inertial frame or accelerated frame in which acceleration is not equal to zero. The reference frame which has some acceleration. Newton's laws are not applicable in this one, beta. In order to apply the Newton's law, we introduce a new concept called as of pseudo force. Pseudo means what? False. Isn't it? Yes, sir. Force will be equal to mass into acceleration. This acceleration will be acting on the body in the opposite direction. Pseudo force is exactly opposite to the acceleration of the body. See here. In this one, it is a non-inertial frame. This body is moving with an acceleration A. In order to apply the pseudo force for this frame, we need to apply a pseudo force in the opposite direction because this body is moving in certain acceleration. Yes, sir. Like see this example. A pendulum is hanging from the ceiling of a car having an acceleration. That means this red box, which is a car, is moving with acceleration A0. So this is an accelerating frame or non-accelerating frame? Uh, sir, it's an accelerating frame. Sir. Accelerating frame, Gada, because it is yes, an acceleration. Sir. So we need to apply the pseudo force on this body in the backward direction because when this body moves in the front direction, this, this will pendulum move will move in the backward direction. Yeah. So yes. because of you, this one. So pseudo force will be equal to M into A0 here. Yes, sir. So tension will be T here. If I resolve this tension, this T cos theta balances the weight, T sin theta balances the pseudo force. So T cos theta is equal to mg, T sin theta will be equal to M into your A0. So divide yes, both sir. of them. Second equation by first equation, sine by cos will give tan, tan theta is equal to A0 by G. So theta will be equal to tan inverse of your A0 by G. Okay? Yes, sir. Now if I need the tension, what we'll do? Squaring and adding the equation 1 into will get the tension. T square cos square theta plus T square sin square theta. I'm adding both of them, squaring and adding. So that will be mg whole square plus m into your a naught whole square. Cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1. So t square is equal to m square into g square plus a naught square. So t will be equal to how much better? m into under root of g square plus a naught square. Yes. One more example. See so this one. A particle is sliding down a smooth inclined plane of inclination 37 degrees. So this is your inclined beta. This is 37 degrees. Fixed in an elevator going up. As it now it is going up with what acceleration beta? G by 3 together. Yes, sir. Acceleration of this one is your G by 3 in which direction? Upward. Accelerating frame or non-accelerating frame? So this is non-accelerating, sir. Why non-accelerating, beta? Yes, sir. Non-accelerating or accelerating? Non-accelerating, sir. Why non-accelerating? What do you mean by non-accelerating? Non-accelerating okay, laws are... Yes, acceleration sir. Yes, sir. Zero yes, sir. Yes, zero sir. Zero yes, sir. It's not. It's not. Yes, sir. It's a accelerating frame. Acceleration yes, sir. Gada. A naught is equal to G by because 3. Yes. This sir. is an accelerating frame. So we need to apply the pseudo force on this body in the downward direction. Yes. Sir. Because this elevator is moving up with an moving acceleration upwards. G by yes, 3. Sir. We need to apply the pseudo force on this small m in the downward direction. See here, I have taken FBD on the weight of your mg in the downward direction. Pseudo force also in the downward direction. Yes. Sir. Opposite to the acceleration of this one. Yes. Sir. Opposite acceleration. Now, if I resolve the mg beta, this is mg sin 37, mg cos 37. If I resolve ma0, this will become ma0 into sin 37, ma0 into cos 37. Along yes. the incline. Now, if I am talking about along the incline, mg sin 37 plus m into a0 into sin 37 will be equal to mass into acceleration. Okay? Yes. And it is equal to m into your. Everywhere mass will get cancelled. So, g plus a0 into sin 37 will be equal to your a. Acceleration a0 is given how much in the problem? g by 3. So it yes. is g by 3 into sin 37 is 3 by 5, that is a. So simplifying it and calculating it, we got an acceleration. Acceleration will be equal to how much will be? 8 meter per second square. What is asking the problem? Time taken by the particle. That means, the time the time taken to travel this slope is. So I need to calculate this distance better because base is given for me. S will be equal to how much better? 5 by cos 37 from this triangle. See, cos yes, theta sir. will be equal to S, 5 yes, by S. Sir. S will be equal to 5 by cos 37. So S will be equal to how much? Cos 37 is equal to 4 by 5. So it is 25 divided. Will, yes, sir. Is your displacement. So I'm using the kinematic equation. S is equal to UT plus half of your AT square. So S is equal to 25 by 4. Initial velocity is 0. Half into acceleration, I got 8 meter per second square into T. 
So simplify it, we'll get the time for that part. Got it? Yes. So when do you apply the pseudo force beta? For inertial or non-inertial frame? For the non-inertial non frame. Non-inertial accelerating. Pseudo force. That means non-inertial frame means what? Accelerating. Accelerating frame. Is that clear? Yes. Sir. So let me do one more example on this one. Try to do this question. Pseudo kosar niyantak no try che. So this question. Try to understand whether you are able to understand or not. For what value of capital F will the block of mass M remains at rest with respect to the wedge? All the surfaces are frictionless. In wedge panam, we are applying the force so that this small M should always be remain at rest. That means yes, this is accelerating frame or non-accelerating frame? Uh, sir, it's accelerating because accelerating. it's moving Because it is yes, moving. Sir. So it's yes, moving at a certain angle. That means pseudo force on this small M will act in this direction. Upper, uh, this is... Pseudo force on this small m will be in this direction. Opposite to acceleration. Opposite, right? yes, sir. This that is means if this is your MA, so this will be in the backward direction. Backward direction. The yes, is small m and a blue line the draw into M into your A in the opposite direction. Yes, sir. E time. Mg of the body is in the downward direction. This is the normal reaction. MA is in this direction. If I resolve the normal, so it is n cos theta, n sin theta. Okay. Yes, sir. E normal to do vertical this contain alternate angles. I put the theta I put so n cos theta balances mg and sin theta balances your ma. So acceleration of the body will be f by capital M plus small m. N cos theta is your mg and sin theta is your ma. So tan theta is equal to how much for me? A by g. Yes. So f will be equal to how much better? Capital M plus small m into your a. Substitute this value here. So we'll get f is equal to capital M plus small m into g into tan theta. Just go to it once. Let me see whether you can able to understand or not. Because I'll go to it if you're having any doubt, please ask me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Try this one, Can you eat an address? How pseudo force is acting, you see? The body is sir, moving. so this is moving downwards means pseudo force is acting upwards, right, sir? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. The block will be not in contact when exhibition of A naught is greater than G. Yes, sir. As it will accelerate, it will go into the air, right? So. Yeah. Question number two, what Yeah. Yes, sir. sir once can you? Okay, yes, sir. Got it, sir. Yes, sir. This body is moving in upward direction. 
So pseudo force will act in the downward direction. Downward, yes. Normal reaction is exerted by the lift in the upward direction. So N will be equal to MA plus MG. Yes. So what are the basic things you know in the friction beta? Sir, that is uh, it's the opposing. It's a non-contact force. It's non-contact, yes. Sir, non -contact. It is a contact force, right? Yes, sir. When it is only in contact. It's it's contact on any friction on the Yes, sir. Isn't it? Yes, sir. And it generally opposes what? Relative motion between any two bodies. Yes, sir. And we have two types of the frictions. One is static friction, another is kinetic friction. Kinetic friction. The static friction is then when beta, when the body is at the rest. That means when there is no relative motion between the body, then the friction which is coming into the place is called as what? Static. Isn't it? Kinetic yes, friction is when the body is coming in the motion. In motion. Isn't yes. It? If the body is coming in the motion right now like this, this is your block of mass of your ear. And if this is moving in the front direction, right? You are applying the force on this one, or it is moving with certain velocity, frictional force will be acting in the backward direction on this one. So this will be equal to your FK. On the when the body is having yes. acceleration, or when the body is being applied with a certain force F, then when you apply the force F means it the body will get velocity and the body will also get acceleration. And the other? Yes. Isn't it? So what is the frictional coefficient beta? Frictional coefficient is equal to your, when the, if it is in the motion, Fk will be equal to your mu k into your n gada. Isn't it? When the yes. body is at rest, static friction, mu s will be equal to your mu s into your n. When the body is rolling, rolling motion will be equal to mu r into your n. On gada. Mu is known as what? Coefficient of kinetic friction, coefficient of static friction, coefficient of rolling friction. So generally, coefficient of static friction is greater than of your kinetic and kinetic will be greater than of your rolling. Rolling, yes. Body okay, start out and get an equal time. Once it comes into the motion, then it is very easy to move in the front direction. Isn't it? So, yes, what is sir. the normal on this one? Beta? Weight of the body is mg in the downward direction. Normal reaction n will be in the upward direction. Okay, na? yes, sir. Now, tell me if the body is moving in this direction. Now, frictional force will be equal to how much better here right now? Can you tell me? Fk for this given diagram is mu k into your n. Can I write like this? Yes. So this equals to mu k. n will be equal to how much? m into g. So, this will be equal to your Fk. Okay, na? So, the body will have an acceleration. So, acceleration will be equal to force. What force? Kinetic force divided by your mass m. So, that will be equal to mu k into your mg divided by your m. mm gets cancelled. So, this will become for me mu k. Okay. Yes. The body is moving certain time. Now, if I am talking about velocity, okay, velocity at what time the body will come to the rest? After how much time it will come to the rest? End? Like, say, so when you apply the force, if it is starting moving with a certain velocity, if I say that, after what time the body will come to the rest? Because the body is right now in motion, Gada. Yes. Sir. So if I can use a relation, V is equals to U plus of your A into T. Initial velocity is equal to how much for me? Zero. Initial yes, velocity sir. is zero. Final velocity of this body will be equal to how much? Initial velocity is zero. Final velocity is zero. Now. Sir, initial, initial is only zero, right? Sir. Initially, we are moving with a certain velocity V. Okay, yeah. Yes, sir. The final Finally, velocity the body is, is coming to the rest. Coming to rest. Final so velocity v is zero. Final yes, velocity exactly. will be zero. Initial velocity is given as V plus acceleration is equals to mu k into g into your time t. Okay. Acceleration is positive or negative? Opposite to the motion property. This is zero is it's equal to V minus of your mu k g into yes, your t. So V will be equal to your mu into k into g into t. So time taken will be equal to V by mu k into your g. So this is your time. 
क्लियर यस व्हाट एन आइडिया यस वन मोर क्वेश्चन दिस इज ए ब्लॉक ऑफ मास एम एंड दिस इज कैप्ट ऑन हॉरिजोंटल सर्फेस सर्फ सर्फेस पे एंड यू आर अप्लाइंग ए फोर्स ऑन दिस वन कैपिटल एफ एंड इट इज मेकिंग एन एंगल ऑफ योर टीटा ओके सो वट विल बी दिन ऑफ द बॉडी it is a rough surface but there is a friction between these two bodies there is nothing but mean tell me when you apply the force first resolve it this will become for me f cos theta and this will become for me f sin theta when you see the angle you need to resolve it yes. weight of the body m into g in the downward direction normal reaction in the upward direction friction on this body will be in the backward direction this will be the friction and together so f cos theta is balancing your friction beta as the body is moving in the front direction i can write f into cos theta minus friction will be equal to mass into acceleration then na yes sir what type of friction it will be kinetic friction kada so this will yes, be f sir. into cos theta minus fk will be equal to mu k into your n that is equal to m into your n so this will become for me f into cos theta minus mu k into n will be equal to m into g that is equals to m into your n and then na Yes. Sir. So now f cos theta is equal to how much? Beta mu k into your mg. Uh, this will be equal to your m into your a part of relation. How much is that? Normal will be equal. Huh? Normal. Did I say? Sorry. In the contrary, normal will be equal to your how much? In normal scheme, I'm going to show you. So normal n plus of your f sin theta um, will be equal to your mg. Did I say that? Vertical yes. forces, all vertical forces. So n will be equal to how much? Beta mg minus f into sin theta. This is your normal. So this normal is substituted here. It is mu k into this will be your mg minus f into your sin theta is equal to your m into your e. Okay. Now yes, if I sir. open the bracket, this will become for me f into cos theta minus mu k into your m g minus minus will become for me plus f into your sin theta will be equal to m into your e. mu k got on to that. Got mu k got on to that. Okay. Mu k the multiply is number. Yes. Mu k into your f into your sin theta. So all the f terms you take on one side, beta. If I take m on this side right now, this will become for me. F into this will become for me cos theta plus mu k into your sin theta minus of your mu k into your mg divided by your mass m will be equal to your acceleration. Here. Ona kada? So yes. So this will become how much for me? A is equal to your f by your m into this one will become for me cos theta plus of your mu k into your sin theta. So this will be the acceleration. जोटल The question is, what would be the maximum mass value of the block B beta, so that the two blocks do not move? Both the blocks should not move. So, what should be the mass of the B? Two kg. Mm-hmm. Okay, we can't say that. 
ఫస్ట్ రైట్ ఆల్ ది ఫోర్సెస్ బేటా దీని మాస్ ఏమ అంటారు m g అనుకుందాం ఐ డోంట్ నో దిస్ ఇస్ ద టెన్షన్ టి 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 దేర్ విల్ బి ఫ్రిక్షన్ ఆన్ దిస్ వన్ కదా yes sir for the maximum condition what i can write here t must be equal to how much for me f kada yes sir t must be equal to your f f will be equal to how much for me mu into your n that is mu n will be equal to how much better 2 into g yes sir dekha da this is 2g here right now and this is the normal isn't it so this is the maximum yes. this t will be equal to m into g that will be equal to your mu no say for example in the problem i'm giving you this static friction is equals to 0.2 okay this will be static other this the body is not in the motion gravity so this will be equal to 0.2 into g into g this g and this g will get cancelled and then yes sir so mass will be equal to how much beta 0.2 means 2 by 10 into 2 and enta avutundi 2.2 ante ikka direct idhe raskochu kada 2.2 into 2 is how much 0.4 kg this will be the answer ona kada yes sir what is the question is what should be the mass of your b so that the block is not in the motion motion lo undagudu ante the weight which is been balancing this one must be equal to this tension balance is the friction there clear yeah? yes sir is it clear any doubt in this one no sir got it sir then 939 నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఇస్ యాంగిల్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్రిక్షన్ ఇది కూడా ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఫామ్ లో యాంగిల్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్రిక్షన్ యాంగిల్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్రిక్షన్ ఇస్ నథింగ్ బట్ లెక్స్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇఫ్ దిస్ ఇస్ బ్లాక్ విచ్ ఇస్ కెప్ట్ అన్ హారిజాంటల్ సర్ఫేస్ అండ్ దిస్ ఇస్ యువర్ నార్మల్ రియాక్షన్ ఇయన్ వెన్ యూఆర్ అప్లైంగ్ సెటన్ ఫోర్స్ ఆన్ దిస్ వన్ దెర్ విల్ బి ఫ్రిక్షనల్ ఫోర్స్ విచ్ ఇస్ బిన్ యాక్టింగ్ ఆన్ దిస్ వన్ సో ద ఫ్రిక్షనల్ ఫోర్స్ విల్ బి యాక్టింగ్ ఆన్ దిస్ బాడీ ఇన్ దిస్ డైరెక్షన్ దిస్ ఇస్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఆఫ్ యూర్ ఎఫ్ లిమిటింగ్ కండిషన్ not static limiting condition means the body is ready to move ona kada when you are applying certain applied force the body is ready to move but not still in the motion resultant force will be what better this will be the resultant force of this one so this is the resultant and it is making an angle of say for example here theta this theta is known as of your angle of friction ante kada gurtundha yes sir so tan theta will be equal to i'm not deriving the relation here remember the formula tan theta will be equal to mu into your s this is the formula you need to remember Okay, so angle of friction ki tan theta will be equal to your static friction particle friction. For smooth surface, the friction will be equal to zero. Okay? Yes, sir. The next one is one more and very important term, angle of repose. Angle of your repose formula. For this one, this is for inclined plane beta. If the body is on inclined plane and the body is ready to move on the inclined plane but not in the motion still. Okay? This one is say yes, for example sir. some alpha. and here is say for example some block of mass of your m isn't it what all the forces will be acting on this body beta one is weight of the body mg in the downward direction this will be normal in the upward direction and if this is alpha this is also alpha you resolve this one into components this will become for me mg into cos alpha and this one will be equal to your mg into your sin alpha and frictional force acting on this body will be in the upward direction so the angle at which the body is ready to move in the downward direction is known as of your angle of repose for angle of repose also tan alpha will be equal to mu s same formula so therefore i can say that tan theta is equals to tan alpha tan theta gets cancelled so theta will be equal to alpha can i say that angle of friction will be equal to angle of your repose clear yes sir is it clear yes sir <laughs> on standard formula again acceleration on inclined planes accelerations on your inclined plane derivations avasaram ledu if the body is moving down or moving up like say this is your inclined plane okay this body is moving down this is mass m and is moving down with an acceleration a and this is say for example some angle say for example of your theta okay so when it is moving down number 1 moving down moving down acceleration down will be equal to g into your this one is sin theta minus of mu into cos theta gurtunda 
Yes, down the inclined plane will be equal to how much for me? G into sin theta minus of mu into cos theta part of relation. Is it clear? Yes. In the same way, if the body is moving up the plane, moving up, moving up, acceleration up the plane will be equal to your G into your sin theta plus mu into your cos theta. Okay? Yes, sir. For smooth surfaces, what will be the answer, beta? For smooth surface, angle down will be equal to your angle up. That will be equal to how much? For smooth surface, mu value will take it as zero, gada. So now both yes, are mu zero. We'll get g sine theta. Down also you take mu sine mu cos theta. We'll get as same. So that will be equal to how much? G into sine theta. Yes, sir. And this is a very important formula, beta. So acceleration up or acceleration down. Acceleration up or acceleration down for the smooth surface will be equal to G into sin theta. Whereas for the rough surface, it is G sin theta minus mu cos theta. Acceleration up will be equal to sin theta plus of your mu into your cos theta particulation. Clear? Yes. Sir. One very important formula bit again. Mu is equals to very famous formula. Mu is equals to one minus one by n square into your tan theta. Okay, mu is equals to your one minus one by n square into tan theta. When let's say for example, this is one surface beta. This one is your smooth. Okay, angle is theta, and another surface is there beta. This one is your rough. It's the same angle, but this is your rough surface. This distance is yes. This distance is also yes. Time taken by the block to come from here to here. You say, for example, t on the surface. On the surface, smooth surface. Smooth surface. On rough surface, it is n times of t. Yes, sir. Isn't it? Then what will be the coefficient of friction? What is the coefficient of friction? So mu is equals to one minus one by n square into tan theta. Yes. Sir. You know? sure. Example I'll give you. If theta is forty-five degrees for both of them, okay, inclined plane is twice the time to take slide down the another one. That means right now for me what time taken on the rough surface? Time taken on the rough surface is two times the time taken on the smooth surface. Anku. Wasn't it? So, what will be the coefficient of friction? Can you tell me? This is n times. Gada. Yeah, yes. This is the time on rough surface. Gada. Yes, sir. This is the time on the smooth surface. Yes, sir. Use this formula. Mu is equals to one minus one by what is n here? What is n here? Uh, two, uh, two gada. Yes, sir. Two times gada. Two times of time on the smooth surface gada. Yes, sir. N plus lame on the gada. Man, the gada two on the gada. So two. it is nothing yes, but two square. Two square into, into one, sir. This one will be equal to how much? One, sir. Tan forty-five. Tan forty-five. Yes. Isn't it? So that will be equal to one minus one by four into one. And then, ah, one minus yes, one by four is how much? Three by four. Three by four. Three point seven. Yes, Got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So whenever he gives us type of equation directly, you can use the shortcut formula. Okay. Yes. Sir. Like if it is say for example three times or one by two times, at that time what will take? One by two times means we'll take two. Two. Yes. Sir. So one by three times we'll take three. Okay. N times of your t. That means four times, six times, seven times, whatever it take, you can take directly that answer. Clear? Yes, sir. Sure. Next slide. Please. Block on block problems. Block on block problems. What do you mean? Yes, sir. This is one block. This is your another block. This is M one and this is your M two. Okay. If I'm applying the force on this one. What happens? 
there is a coefficient of friction here like mu1 and this one is say for example smooth surface then tell me how do you write the free body diagram for the m1 this is your applied force f isn't it m2 will exert a normal reaction on this one that is nothing but n1 next one is here right now this one this is your m2 isn't it n2 will exert the normal reaction on this one and m1 will exert the equal and opposite normal reaction on this one so that will be equal to how much beta what will be the reaction between m1 and m2 what will be the reaction between n1 and n2 if m2 is exerting n1 on the body yes, m1 sir. will also exert the equal okay, and the same the yes sir. the downward direction that will be equal to how much n1 yes sir. equal and opposite kada yes sir. this yes, is sir. a smooth surface this is your ground so ground will exert the normal reaction on this one so this will be equal to n2 isn't it and this m2 will exert the force on the ground that will be equal to your n2 any doubt no sir no n1 weight of this body will be equal to how much m1 g weight of this one will be equal to your m2 g clear now for yes, block sir. m1 you tell me what all forces are there for block of your m1 if there is a friction also right now beta between f and m1 and m2 there is also friction when there is a friction there is a friction force acting on this one this is your f on this surface also there will be your f on a yes and down there is no smooth as, as it is a smooth surface the friction will become how much for me zero okay na yes sir now tell me what all forces are acting on the block of your m1 vertical forces jo pose sir vertical forces are n1 is equals to your m1 into g is there any other force acting on that body the block m1 no sir only okay, these two yeah horizontal forces capital f must be equal to your friction this friction will be equal to mu into your n1 so that will be equal to mu n1 will be equal to your m1 into g clear yes sir in the same way for block of your m2 tell me what all forces are acting on this one for block of your m2 m2 force will be equal to how much beta n1 in the downward direction n2 in the upward direction upward so direction. your yes. n2 plus of your m2 g in the downward direction minus of your n1 that must be equal to zero ante na yes sir so this will be your n2 uh, plus of your m2 into g will be equal to your n1 clear any doubt in this one no sir no n2 will be equal to how much n2 will be equal to your n1 hmm n2 is equals to n n1 is there and mg sir n1 plus uh, n2, n2 plus mg is n1 so n2 body this kora yes sir ento avutundi sir n1 minus m2g sir n1 minus of your m2g got an idea yes sir got it sir is there any vertical force acting on that body no still friction no, present is present there right now so here yes, friction sir. will be equal to how much beta f will be equal to again mu into your n clear yes sir so whenever you are doing the problems related to this one beta first calculate the maximum static force acting on that body and make sure that there is no relative motion between them then it will be easy for you to do the problems part of relation is that clear okay sir so let us try to do some examples based upon this one so if i am taking one example here right see there is a block here right now capital m And there is a block of your small m, and I'm applying the force on this one capital M, and this is your rough surface. Okay, a block of small m is being placed on another block of mass capital M, which have been lying on a smooth horizontal surface. This is your smooth horizontal surface. Okay, smooth horizontal surface. The coefficient of static friction between small m and capital M, I'm taking it as say for example mu s. Okay. Yes. What is the value of a capital F applied on the small m so that the block remains at rest relative to each other? So what is the condition is what is the maximum force I can apply? What maximum force? What maximum force that can be applied? That can be applied on small m so that blocks remain at rest. blocks remain at your rest relative to each other relative to each other this is a question okay yes sir
was making an FBD for this one. Normal reactions acting on this body. First is nothing but right now. The force is acting on this body. If there is a friction acting on this body. This is small. Yes. It will be equal and opposite friction even on this one. That is your F. Yes. Then this, one, this will be equal to your F. Isn't it? So right now, what is the maximum limiting friction I can write? Friction will be equal to your mu s into your n. That is mu s into n will be equal to your m into g. Yes, sir. On because small m if I am writing. On downward so direction. Calculate the maximum acceleration acting on this body. Small m will be equal to your f by your capital F. Total mass. Yes, So sir. acceleration on your capital M will be equal to your how much? Because on the capital M, only force applying is nothing but small f. F will be equal to mass into acceleration. Yes, sir. Isn't it? So F will be equal to how much for me? Mu S into your F, small mg divided by capital M. So that is your maximum acceleration. Now force will be equal to how much for me? F is equals to your M1 plus of your M2 into your maximum acceleration. So one is small m, another one is capital M, and maximum acceleration is mu S into your mg divided by your capital M. So this will be the maximum force which is to be required on this one. Clear? Yes. Sir. First, I calculated the friction on the small m. Then I calculated the acceleration on the lower block. Then I calculated the net force. F is equal to total mass into your maximum acceleration. Got an idea? Yes. Sir. Isn't it? Now, let me give you one more example. Same like this. Like This is your horizontal surface. Here, there is a block. Say, for example, capital M1. And on this one, there is an another block of mass of capital M2. Now I'm applying the force on the lower floor. Okay. Is that clear? This one is yes, again sir. a smooth surface bit. This one is your smooth surface on the ground, whichever you are keeping. This is a smooth surface. Coefficient of friction between them is mu. Again, I need to calculate maximum value of your F. Find maximum value of your F. Maximum value of your F for which for which the system, both the blocks move together, for which the system move with same acceleration. Okay? In the country, when we apply the force, we are not applying the force on M2. M2 may be having some other force, isn't it? Now, how do you yes. use this type of your questions? Again, first, what is the target right now, beta here right now? M2, M2 is your target. Isn't it? Because you are applying the force in the M1. Isn't it? You are applying the force on what beta? Capital M1. You are not applying the force on your M2. So first calculate the friction there beta. F will be equal to your how much? What will be the direction of the friction? Can you tell me beta? On the M1, there will be friction in this one. On your M2, there will be friction in this one. Equal and opposite. That will be mu s into your normal reaction n. What will be n beta here right now? So mu s into your. What will be the n? Can you tell me? So, it will be uh, mg in the downward direction, right, sir? So, normal on this body is right now, yeah. Normal reacting on this one is n. Frictional force will be equal to mu into n. This n will be equal to what? m2 into g? m2 into g, yes, sir. So, that will be equal to your m2 into your g. Agreed? Yes, sir. Now, what is the maximum acceleration beta? A max will be equal to, because you are applying a force on what block? m1, gada? m1, yes, sir. So, the right now, if I am writing this one, frictional force divided by your... So, maximum acceleration of what we are targeting. What is our uh, target M1, right now? Sir. M2, Gada. Isn't it? Okay, what is our target? M2, sir. See here, right now, when I calculated your maximum acceleration, I have not taken the small m. Yes, sir. Isn't it? And what I have taken the for, for right now, here, right now? The bottom block. The yeah, bottom one. That means, you got M1, 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 so that will be equal to your mu s into this one is nothing but m2 into g divided by m2. This m2, this m2 will get cancelled. So this is mu s into your g. Yes, sir. Isn't it? So maximum force will be equal to how much right now for me? F max will be equal to m1 plus of your m2 into your a max. This is our formula. m1 is nothing but of your m1 plus this one is nothing but of your m2 into acceleration is nothing but mu s into your g. So this is your maximum force. So block on block problems approach in that will give an idea how to do the problems. Clear? Yes, sir. Let me do you some with numerical shape So we'll get an idea. Say for example, uh, the question is acceleration of 5 kg and your 10 kg block. If 
F is equals to 15 Newton. Okay, this is your question. This is your diagram right now here. We have got one horizontal force and we have got an another horizontal force on this one. This one is your 5 kg and this one is your 10 kg. And this one is your horizontal surface. And you are applying the force on upper part. Capital F is equals to how much for me? 15 Newton. Yes. Capital F is equals to 15 Newton. Coefficient of friction here it is given for me as 0 0.4. And this one is your smooth surface. Try to understand the way how I am doing. Regular other way then apply check. Okay, na? Okay, yes. Your applied force is how much for me? 15 Newton gada. Yes. Now, this is our target. 10 kg gada. Yes. Applied force is on 15 Newton. 15. So target yes. is your 10 kg. 10 kg. So calculate the friction on that one. F is equals to mu s mm. into r into mu s value is 0. 0.4 into what will be the normal reaction on that one? Normal reaction will be. So it will be 50 sir. 50 that is 5 into g value, 10, 5 yes. into 10 so that will be equal to how much 0.4 is nothing but 4 by 10 10 10 gets cancelled 4 5 is a 20 20 so friction on this one is 20 newton yes now maximum acceleration a max will be equal to your what f by 10 f sir. by your what 10, 10 kg blocks sir. yes sir. so this is your 20, 20 by 10, 10 this two, one, sir. This one. so this will be equal to how much 2 meter per second square Got it, sir. Now, if max will be equal to how much? If max is equal to your 10 plus 5, that is m1 plus m2 into a max. Is the formula Yes, sir. m1 is 5 plus this one is 10 into acceleration is 2. So, 10 plus 5, 10, 5 plus 10 is 15. 15 into 2, that will be equal to 13 Newton. 13. Yes, sir. You are getting maximum for 13 Newton, isn't it? And your applied force is how much? 15 Newton. 15 Newton. That means your applied force is lesser than of your f max yes sir. because this is how much for me 15 and this one is how much for me sorry the f applied force is how much for yeah. me 15, 15 sir and, and the f max is 30 sir 30 this one is 30 that means to break the bond between them how much force i need 30 newton but how much you are applying 15, Only 15 so will it break the bond between them uh, no, sir, it won't. No, because to break the bond, the required I is 13 kg, 30 newton. Maximum force, how much I need? 30 newton. But 30 newton, how much no force right now? 15 newton. Yes, sir. Even, even though if you see here itself, also you'll get an idea. Friction and torsion, 20 newton. Yes, sir. And your applied force is 15 newton. <laughs> your 15 newton is lesser than of your 20 newton. 20 newton, yes. So obviously, there is no breaking the bond between 5 kg and 10 kg. So both yes. the block will move with. Both the blocks will move with same acceleration. Yes, they'll move together. Yes. Yeah, they'll move with the same acceleration. So that will be equal to how much better? A is equal to your net force divided by your total mass. Yes. Net force is how much? Can you tell me? Total force, how much you are applying? 15 Newton, brother. 15 Newton, yes, sir. How much is total mass? 5 plus 15, 10, sir. Equal to 15. So yes, that will be equal to 1 meter per second square. Got an idea? Yes, sir. 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 Same question. I'm just changing that condition. See what is the given condition is right now. Same problem. Only thing is right now here, you try to understand it by method. Don't try to do it by again your material method. Then you put method to a chain, it will be very easy for you. So this is okay. how much for me, 5 kg. And this one is say for example, your 2 kg. Okay. And coefficient of friction here is say for example, 0.5 Newton. And you are applying the force on this one is capital F is equals to 7 Newton. Okay. So the acceleration of lower block will be equal to how much? The acceleration of lower block lower block is okay so try to do it we've got 2 kg and 5 kg coefficient of friction between 2 and 5 is 0. 0.5 and applied force is 7 newton what is the acceleration of the lower block same method who is target uh, so 5 kg block 5 kg. so we'll calculate friction f yes, is to mu into your n mu value is 0. 0.5 into normal will be equal to how much better? 20, sir. 2 20, into 10. 2 sir. into G, 20. That means 2 into 10, I'll write. 0.5, yes, 5 by 10 into 5, 5. 5, 5, 5. Yes, sir. This will be equal to how much? 10 Newton. 10 Newton. Yes, sir. This one is to calculate acceleration. A max is equals to force by your. How much here? 
lower block 5 kg sir oh, so that is equals to 10 divided by 5 that will be equal to how much 2 sir 2 meter per second square. now m1 now f max f max f max will be equal to your m1 plus m1 plus m2 into your a max 7 7 so into 2 m2 is on the 7 into 2 that will be equal to how much 14 sir 14 newton and no force apply just in the uh, only 7 newtons. So, F is lesser than of your what? F max? F right? max. So yes. The they will stay in away. contact and they won't. Yeah. They will so accelerate we'll together. They will move. Both will move with same acceleration. Smartly has given the question. Instead of asking the common acceleration, asking what is the acceleration of your lower block. The main the yes. So to confuse. Equal to your net force divided by total mass again. Yes. Sir. Net force, how much you are applying? 7. Total mass is also 7. So that will be equal to how much? 1, one meter per second square. What an idea? Yes. Adhamainda? Yes, sir. Adhamainda. Sure? Yes, sir. Block and block problem. Yes, sir. Sure. Shall I give you one more question? Yes, sir. V block 7. But still, you can try to do it out. No problem in this one. Okay, we one day revision of two videos. But still, I covered a lot of concept related to your blog and blog problems. In planning, you need to do a little bit of your uh, what do you call that one? Uh, material, sir. Material problems also. Any problem, you could just block and block pana, two block problems, three block problems, inclined surface pana, all anti problems. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, one friction. In friction is a concept almost all. Okay, sir. How do you calculate the limiting friction? How do you calculate vertical wall span of forces? I like I think vertical wall to work with which is done. And only class on ship and class year notes gonna go into you can revise it very carefully. I say, learn the questions. What was the this is your vertical wall on Kuna. Okay, and there is a block connected like this to this wall. Okay, this is like say 0.1 kg. And you are applying a force of like say 5 newton. Okay. Now the question is find the limiting value of the friction, force of the friction, and acceleration of the block. Okay. So number A in this one, find limiting value of friction. Limiting value of no, no, static friction. Okay, now yes, sir. Next one is find frictional force. And number C is find the acceleration of block. So try it. What all forces you try to write it right now? This is very important. Very, very important for this one. Just making a bit clearly, we'll get the answer. Weight yes, of the in the downward direction. Downward, below. mg. It will be equal to your how much? M into G. Normal will be here right now due to the wall. So this is exiting in this direction and this will exit in this direction. Frictional force will be in the upward direction. Frictional force will be somewhere here. This will be the frictional force. And then, yes. Normal is always with the contact surface, Gada. Contact surface of this block yes, is horizontally, vertically, Gada. Yes, sir. Gada. Yes, sir. So now if I'm writing this relation right now, how much force you are applying? 5 Newton force, Gada. So normal will become how much for me, beta? Find the limiting value, limiting value of the friction at FS. FS is equals to mu into your n. Mu value will be equal to how much beta? Mu value will be equal to how much? Sir, mu here. Uh... Mu value is given in the problem, not given. No, no sir. So I'll give mu only. Normal will be equal to how much? Uh, 5 newton, sir. 5 newton. So it is yes. 5 times of mu. Yes. Frictional force. Limiting value of the friction and the uh, frictional force will also be equal to how much for me? Can you tell me what will be frictional force? Frictional force will be equal to. Uh, sir, so it will be mg, right, sir? Because this is. Yes, sir. So m is how much for me? 0. 0.1. G yes, value. Sir. So that will be equal 10. to. One, one, sir. One. What will be the acceleration? Is it moving vertically? No, no, gada. Friction no, is sir. Or... Yes, sir. So, FS will be equal to how much? Static friction is how much for me? Five times of your mu. So, what will be the acceleration? There is no motion property. It will be your zero. 
అంతే కదా ఎస్ బ్లాక్ అండ్ బ్లాక్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ చేసుకుంటావు కదా ఇంకా ఎస్ సార్ చేస్తా సార్ ఈ రోజు మెటల్ చేసి కొంచెం మెటల్ ఇన్క్లైన్ పెయిన్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ కూడా చేసేసుకో కంప్లీట్ గా ఒకసారి ఓకే సార్ ఓకేనా ఎస్ సార్ ఇంకా రాకు పోది ప్లీజ్ లెట్ మీ నో ఐ ట్రై టు హెల్ప్ యు ఓకే సార్ ఓకే ఎస్ సార్ సర్ ఐ విల్ ఐ విల్ సెండ్ ద పోర్షన్ లైక్ ది విల్ సెండ్ ఇట్ టుమారో సర్ ఆఫ్టర్ ఎగ్జామ్ సో యు సెండ్ మీ ద పోర్షన్ దెన్ వి ట్రై టు స్టార్ట్ ద టాపిక్ ఇన్ ది నెక్స్ట్ వీక్ ఓకేనా ఓకే సార్ ఓకే చెప్పు Thank you so much. Bye. Okay, sure. Bye.